Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Experience Points, we're a, it's a new YouTube channel, I'm just going to play one of my favourite games that's available on Steam, it is called Unity of Command, it features around Operation Barbarossa, which was the uh, Axis venture into Soviet Russia, and well they get proven quite true uh, to the saying you never march on Moscow, so we're just going to be running through the different campaigns showing you how they're done. Now I've already done a campaign so we're just going to continue the current one because this can take quite a while. This is the Soviet campaign from the original game not either of the expansion packs um, and as you see double medals which mean brilliant victories so we're just going to show you how they're done. Starting at the beginning with Operation Uranus? Uranus. Uranus. Well, we'll find out. We're just gonna view the history, take it back to my first turn, and watch the magic. Um, I found initially it's best to concentrate in one section and try to push out. As you see, these units are quite weak, so it is able to attack and win uh, each battle without too much of a complication. The uh, Romanian infantry are completely pushed over and it's just about finding your beach head and then pushing through. Uh, making sure that you take out German motorized because these guys will be a big pain in your butt if you do not take them out. Uh, from here it's a clean up operation but with these guys I didn't want to spend any real time wasting attacks just about getting to your objective and setting up the next turn, typically with, uh, which I'll just explain, when you have your specialist step, these guys become unavailable if you have moved in your turn, so as you see, it means these are out of supply or unusable in the battle, so you always with artillery need to have moved and then set up. So, we'll just go on from there. So these are about getting ready to attack them in the next turn. Uh, as you see here, it's about spearheading one point. So with all my infantry, while trying to maintain the line at the end of my turn, I tried to push down and at least get in position to take this because these guys can be quite frustrating. I am here for hoping that they will be out of the supply line. Um, but considering I couldn't take that. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, just here it's about trying again force you away through to a bridgehead. Um, just attacking for the sake of it. Might as well weaken up the units as you see. He's weaker by his little uh, line. It tells you yep. Attacking the Romanian infantry. Just trying to make it so my armor can get across now. Well, they are helping to fight that battle, which makes them significantly less effective. It's a bit of a clean up. This battle did cost me a lot, but it was about making sure that he was weaker, so his next turn, he is more of a pushover. And that's our first turn. Uh, as you will see, um, the supply lines are still good. And as far as our objectives, these need to be getting on the next turn. Otherwise, they will depreciate and we will not gain maximum prestige and we will not gain a brilliant victory, which is needed when you capture each of these ones by the number that it's designated here. So, now the Soviets have had their fun. The Axis now have their go. Since these units were unable to be resupplied, they aren't able to refill up by three, um, you could say, three steps. So this is really quite a doable mission for your first one, but I think if you don't quite understand the deeper mechanics of the special steps, then it can be quite uh, challenging to get. As you see, some of these units, for example, this, he doesn't have a specialist step. But this unit does, and this does dictate experience. 
So, here's my counter turn, it's just cleaning off that, which was a waste of a turn. Getting our armor in, getting our most uh, attentive units in first. And as you see here, because he moved, he wasn't able to bring artillery into it. And that went from here into our out of supply symbol. Which is unfortunate, but we had the numbers to bring down. Now here, because I didn't want to attack across the river, which also makes attacking another, I bring units from up here. Though I could have put this guy here. Yeah, it takes through. And I was surprised that he wasn't actually able to quickly kill that unit given he was an elite unit. Given that I couldn't break through, I could either disband the unit uh, with no costs in the original campaign, which is quite nice and something that changed in the DLC. But instead, I choose to try to go around. Which. Seems mildly successful. I know that this unit is going to be a very, very big pain, so I'm trying to hold back my armor um, to attack that at the last uh, possible moment, so I'm not wasting any chance. Right. I got an overrun, which means I could attack again, and that, ladies and gentlemen, was quite a miracle because that never happened. That unit chance of retreat would have been around 10%. And the rest really is academic. If that unit didn't retreat, I would have had to dictate um, with my armor, would have had to come in and assault it across the river, and that would have been very hard. But as you see, done and dusted. Maximum victory, and it comes up a brilliant victory. So that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and now you've had that experience. Cheerio!